Is this is this thing on? One, two. One, two. Testing. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 3 of the vlog. Today was really boring. In my exile, I discovered an intense sense, ooh that rhymed, of hunger. And this hunger can only be fulfilled by chocolate. Which got me thinking, why not create a totally not controversial list of the top 10 chocolate bars available to all Australians? In Australia. I've got them here on the green screen as well, so pay attention to them. This should be a lot of fun. At number 10, Violet Crumble. For most people, Violet Crumble is just a seedy, crappy, shady, fallen brother to the crunchy. I'm not even going to do any research as to who owns Violet Crumble, but I suspect they suck. To be honest, I'm not even sure why they're on the top 10 list, but I'll probably eat it. At number 9, Snickers Hazelnut. Um, it's green. It's a Snickers, but... It's got hazelnut in it, which I think is nuts. It's it's nuts. At number eight, we have the Mars Bar. Admittedly, the only reason Mars Bar made this list is because the Mars company owns most of the chocolate bars that you probably eat or see advertisements from. And so the racial, cultural diversity, the appreciation of the original culture of things. Amen. At number seven, we have the Chiquito. <coughs> I should have dabbed. They have a great name. Why wouldn't you want to eat a Chiquito? It's got nougat. I learnt the word nougat because it was in Chiquito. Very good chocolate bar. At number six, we have Milky Bar. This is the greatest white chocolate on the face of the earth. You could even say this chocolate is the Jason Williams of chocolate bars. Sorry. If you've got a chocolate fondue, you're either putting Milky Bar Nestle chocolate in there or you're putting Cadbury chocolate. But usually most people prefer the white chocolate for their strawberries. Into the top five now, we're going for Picnic. Picnic has the most phenomenal red. It reminds me of Coca-Cola red, although it's not the same. But the combination of nuts and the fact that the chocolate is got nuts in it and there's chocolate around the nuts makes it a fantastic chocolate for you to eat with your family number four we have the successful cousin that we all have the crunchy bar as we were discussing before the violet crumble sucks but the crunchy doesn't and so i recommend you put crunchy at number four because it's the chocolate coating on the outside of the beautiful honeycomb middle i really like honeycomb for the sake of this list. Chocolate around the outside, honeycomb in the middle, and delight everywhere else. Now we're into the top three. This is where things get a little bit interesting. At number three, the only chocolate bar in this entire list that kind of does something different from the rest, and that would be Aero. I pointed this out for the hazelnut Snickers, but I'm going to point it out for the Aero as well. It's green, which makes it good. The color green tastes better than any other color. Could you ever think of something that didn't taste good if it was green? No, neither can I because it doesn't. Controversially, at number two, we have a two-way tie. For number two, the Kit Kat Chunky Cookie Dough with the Caramello Koala. Now, both of these chocolates have interesting personalities. For example, the Kit Kat Cookie Dough Chunky version tastes like cookie dough, which is phenomenal, and then it also has the Chunky. As for the Caramello Koala, I hate koalas anyway. Being able to bite into a prospective koala and seeing its insides gush out everywhere because you hate koalas so much, and then they just end up... Uh, dying when you eat them that makes me feel good i'm gonna get demonetized for that now at number one it's pretty obvious what this will be it is always the first chocolate that there is none left of in the favorites box and that is the morrow it's beautiful it's black there's a little bit of red and yellow it tastes like a mars but better a thousand times better have you ever gone to a wedding and wondered why they didn't just take the Moro, cut a hole in it, and just slide it over the finger? That's what I feel about the chocolate Moro. I wish that I could marry a Moro. Would you please get it through your head that the Moro is the best chocolate ever? Anyway, guys, please comment down below what you think of my list. If you disagree with my list, you're wrong. Plain and simple, okay? Along with commenting what you feel about my list, please comment some suggestions for future videos. Because, as you can see, it's only day three, and we're already scraping the bottom of the barrel. Please help me.